Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve this problem that is we have to find the area of this shaded portion. So without further ado, let's solve the problem. So if I name the first circle as x and the second circle as y, then we are given that the radius of x is equal to 4 units and the radius of y is equal to 6 units. Now for our convenience, let's name this point in the circle y as c. Now according to our given question, we have to find the area of this shaded portion. So what we can do is, we can find the area of this complete triangle that is O1C, O2 and then subtract the area of these two sectors and we will get our required area. So let's find the area of the triangle O1C, O2. Now over here we can see that O1C is a tangent to the circle y. So I can say that this angle is equal to 90 degree. Now if this angle is equal to 90 degree, then I can say that this triangle is a right angle triangle. The area of the triangle is equal to half into base into height. Now we know that CO2 is equal to the base of the triangle and that is equal to 6 units. And to find out the height of the triangle, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. Now for those who don't know what is Pythagoras theorem, Pythagoras theorem is a theorem which says that in a right angle triangle, the sum of squares of perpendicular and base is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So according to the Pythagoras theorem, I can say that 4 plus 6 whole square that is equal to 10 square is equal to O1C whole square plus 6 square. So after calculation, we will find that the side O1C is equal to 8 units. So after we have got the length of the side O1C as 8 units, we will simply put it in this formula and we'll get our area as half into 8 into 6 which is equal to 24 units square. So now we have find out the area of the triangle and it has come out to be 24 units square. And now we have to only find the area of these two sectors which are present in the circle X and Y respectively. So the area of the first sector will be equal to pi by 12, 4 square, which is equal to 4 pi by 3. And the area of the second sector will be equal to pi by 6, 6 square, which is equal to 6 pi. So our final answer is nothing but 24 minus 4 pi by 3 minus 6 pi. And upon further calculation, this answer comes out to be 24 minus 22 pi by 3. So our final answer is equal to 24 minus 22 pi by 3. Now we can solve the same question with a different method and which is as follows. We know that the area of a triangle is equal to half AB sin C, where C is the angle between the sides A and B. Now if we take this side as A and this side as B, then we'll get our answer as half into 10 into 6 into sin C, which is equal to sin 60 degree and which is nothing but root 3 by 2. Upon cancellation, this term will come out as 15 root 3. So the area of this triangle will come out as 15 root 3, which is very close to 24. So we can apply this method and we can find out the area of the triangle by this method as well. And we can calculate the area of the sector in the same way and we'll get our final answer. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt, then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there. And all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy. Oh,